Understanding why a model makes a certain prediction can be as crucial as the prediction's accuracy in many applications. Yet interpreting model predictions remains a critical problem in fields as diverse as finance, medicine, discrimination laws, and consumer transparency. The reason this problem exists is because with large data sets, complex models tend to be very accurate, but hard to interpret, while simple models are easier to interpret, but are often significantly less accurate. This leads to a trade-off between accuracy and interpretability. In an effort to eliminate this trade-off, many methods have recently been proposed to interpret the predictions of complex models. However, understanding how these methods relate and when one should be preferred over another is an open question in the machine learning community and one we begin to answer in this work. Prediction explanation methods take the input data and the original complex model and then produce an explanation for a given prediction. What is an explanation? It can be viewed as another model, a simpler model that describes the behavior of the original complex model for a given prediction. This explanation model often uses simplified inputs such as toggling features on and off rather than the raw inputs to the original model. We show that many explanation methods currently all produce explanation models of the same form, a linear function of binary variables. This previously unappreciated unity defines a class of methods that we term additive feature attribution methods. Perhaps surprisingly, this unity allows us to adapt uniqueness results from game theory on the fair allocation of credit to apply to the entire class of additive feature attribution methods. This implies that there is only one possible way to choose the weights of the linear model while maintaining three natural properties. Local accuracy, which means the output of the explanation model matches the original model for the prediction being explained. Missingness, which means the simplified input of zero corresponds to toggling a feature off. And consistency, which says that if toggling a feature off in one model is always makes a bigger difference than in another model, then the importance should be greater in the first model than in the second. In addition to these uniqueness results, combining the strengths of different methods in this class allows us to improve over previous methods while retaining the theoretical guarantees of consistency and local accuracy. These improvements lead to faster estimation, improved consistency with human intuition, and better identification of important features. Interested? Check out the paper or dig in yourself and try it out.